On JR1 of League and Conferama's form teams, having picked up 10 points from a possible 12 in their last four outings. Four days after stunning Monaco in the Principality, Stefan Moulin's side entertained Gangor, who finally got a point on the board in Nîmes this week. After a nightmare run of six straight defeats, Antoine Comboare's men held the promoted side at the Stade de Costia with their new five-man defence. The visitors employing the same system as they went in search of a first league victory since all the way back on April the 21st. Well, Andre were the first side to go close after this neat team move. Jeff ran Adelaide, slipping a neat ball through for Stefan Bauerkan. Pulled it across the six-yard box, but Vincent Pajot couldn't quite get there. Unable to apply the finishing touch, just a bit too far in front of him. Bauerkan getting up close and personal with the cameraman. Kompuare's Gangor had precious few chances in the first half. Free kick in here, coming to Felix Eboa Eboa at the back post. But like Pajo, he was unable to get there and steer it on target. And in spite of being outplayed for the first 45 minutes, Gangon went ahead on the stroke of half-time. Ludovic Boutel in no man's land. And it was a simple finish for Nicola Benazé. Sliding in his first goal of the season. But really a poor error here from the Angers goalkeeper. Following that one, up a dead end. One shot on target for Gangon. One goal, maximum efficiency. So Benazé putting Gangon into the lead. Very much against the run of play. But Comboare's men improved after the break. They might have got a second goal just before the hour. Amazing run here from Jordan Ikoko. It fell to Luca Doe. But this time, Boutel making the save. Putting it behind for a corner. Nice work from Ikoko. Gangon would also have the final chance of the game. 91st minute, Benazé across for Nathalie Julon, but his effort was somehow kept out by Butel. An absolutely stunning save. One-handed, already gone to ground. But still, Gangon were not to be denied. And they finally got their first win of the season. Their first win since back in April. Nevertheless, they remain bottom of the table, two points behind Monaco and Nantes.